Hi, my name is Jana Morton, and on behalf of Creating Keepsakes, I'm excited to share this tutorial with you. I am going to be showing you how I take two photos and merge them together to create one unified image. This is the image that I will be creating. This image actually contains two different photos. I have a photo of a bridge, and then my second photo is of our dog, Wiley, sleeping on our driveway. And I decided that I wanted a more scenic backdrop for Wiley sleeping, so I decided to take him off of our driveway and place him on this bridge. Let's go ahead and get started. I am working in Photoshop Elements 9.0. The first thing I need to do is navigate to my photos. So I'm going up to File, Open, highlighting both photos. And you can see this is the photo I referred to earlier of our dog Wiley sleeping on our driveway. This happens to be his favorite position in the summer. And I really like this photo because it really captures his personality. However, I wanted to have a different background behind him. So I found this photo of a bridge and I thought I could just place Wiley on the bridge. So I'm going to take my photo of Wiley and using the move arrow at the top of my toolbar, I'm simply going to left click and drag Wiley's image onto the photo of the bridge and I'm going to grab the handles, control handles at the edge of that rectangle and just resize Wiley a bit and position him where I would like him to be. And you can see in my layers palette how Wiley's photo is above the bridge photo. I'm going to rename that. I'm going to go ahead and close this original photo of Wiley so that I'm just working on this one image. I'm going to bump Wiley over here just a bit. And now I am going to go in and eliminate this background behind Wiley, the driveway, so it appears as though he is just laying right on that bridge itself. And with Wiley's layer active in the Layers palette, I am going to go over to my toolbar and select the lasso tool, specifically the magnetic lasso tool. And the magnetic lasso tool has um, the default settings are set to feather zero pixels, anti alias is checked with 10 pixels, contrast 10% and frequency 57. And this tool is designed to hug your image by recognizing the contrast between your subject and the background. And I'm going to position my cursor just on the very edge of Wiley's body. I'm left clicking with my mouse and I'm slowly dragging the cursor around Wiley's body. And the, as I mentioned before, the magnetic lasso tool is simply reading the contrast between the subject and the background. And it's doing a really good job here because of the brown against the gray of the background. Now we're getting into Wiley's paw, which is might be a little bit trickier because of the his white paw. And if, you, if the magnetic lasso tool establishes a point that you do not agree with, you can simply hit backspace and it will go to the previous point that was established. And then you can actually establish your own points as well just by left clicking with the mouse. And that's what I'm doing right now because this paw is very similar color to the driveway. And the shadow is so crisp here, I'm actually going to just include that with this extraction and place the shadow as well on the bridge. So I'm just continuing to move my cursor very slowly around Wiley's body.
And then when you get back to the starting point, you can see that there are marching ants encircling Wiley's image. Now I am going up to Select, Feather. I'm going to enter a feather radius value of 3 pixels. This is just going to give Wiley some rounded edges so he doesn't look, so it just gives it a more realistic appearance. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going back up into Select, Inverse, and now you can see the marching ants are going around the outside of the image and I'm going to hit delete. And you can see how that eliminated the background um, behind Wiley's original photo. You can see the marching ants are still encircling Wiley. So I'm going to hit control D. I'm on a PC or command D if you are on a Mac. And now I am going to use my move arrow at the top of my toolbar and just nudge Wiley into a little bit better position. Make him a little bit smaller just by grabbing the control handles on the corner. And I think that that looks pretty good. I really like how this turned out. I think that this bridge is a much better backdrop than the boring old driveway that he was originally sleeping on. I hope that you have found this tutorial helpful. I think there's a lot of possibilities that this opens up with your photos. Thank you for tuning in and have a great day.